guys so didn't um make it into Irwin yesterday because uh my foot was bothering me too much so i decided to uh stay here so you know right at that spot so it was like a pretty good spot um nice flat area and uh got through a uh two hour thunderstorm pretty heavy rain uh tent held up great but uh yeah, the idea was that um, I didn't like how uh, my, my shin was hurting me, and I was worried about it, so I'm like, I'm just gonna, because the downhills are the worst on it, and uh, I've been looking at stuff, and it could be like a shin splint, so inflammation, redness, and soreness on the shin, and that takes, well, I said like a week to heal, but the uh, inflammation and redness is going down. We'll see how it is on the downhills. And I will do... This is pretty much a Nero because I'm only doing three miles downhill. And then uh, a Nero or a zero tomorrow. This is like my first zero and it's definitely needed because uh, to rest this. Um, see if it heals um, pretty good over the next two days. And... The idea is maybe what they recommend is to do like half half the distance that you did when you heard it and then uh, even lower the pace so I think what I could easily do is do like maybe 12 15 miles a day instead of doing uh, when ever it started feeling bad was at 27 miles so if I do you know 12 to 15 uh, at a nice casual pace, take a long lunch and stuff in the first few days, just so I can make some more miles at least, because uh, to get to the next resupply, that could work. And uh, let's say if it hurts again, there's this one place where I could probably, you know, stay like a whole week if I had to. But long as I'm not out for, say, I don't know, two weeks or longer. I have a lot of time I'm really ahead of schedule so I mean I can use up the time if I have to so I'm doing I'm doing fine I'd rather uh, rest it and not have it turn into something like a say a stress fracture because if you get a stress fracture they say those can take like a month to two months to heal and that would actually put me off the trail because I'm not I'm not going to be sitting around for a month or two for a stress fracture heal, but I think I think this is just a shin splint because um, I noticed that it's it's still kind of sore, sore muscle, and uh, I think I think uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll give it a few days to heal, see how it feels. Maybe I'll definitely do lower miles than I've been doing, uh, and work my way back up later until it feels better. Because if it comes back again then, uh, you know, it could just get worse. And then if that gets worse, then that could turn into a stress fracture and have all kinds of issues. And, you know, I got a lot of miles to go. So if this isn't fully healed, it could just, you know, ruin the whole trip. So I'll take my time. Made mistakes doing bigger miles too quickly. I mean, my preferred is, you know, around 20, not 26 or 27. It's just not me. So I'm doing my own thing now, and, uh, you know, that's what I'm going to do. So, just want to let you guys know. So, right now we're coming down into uh, Irwin, Tennessee. Uh, less than two miles away. And uh, I'll be staying at Uncle Johnny's, uh, as I was talking about. And uh, stay there for tonight and uh, hmm, tomorrow night. So take a Nero and a Zero, I guess. Should work out nicely. So it's a plan. Rest the leg for practically two full days. Eat good. Resupply. Um, and then I'll have to figure out where I can actually get another resupply at between here and uh, Damascus because that's 
120 miles, so if my leg's not feeling good, I'm not going to be able to do high miles. So it would be maybe 50 miles a day average instead of uh, in the 20s. So uh, that would take me, you know, four days to get 60. So I'll have to figure out um, a resupply spot uh, and maybe a place to stay, you know, after four days. I'll figure that out on my uh, today and tomorrow. I'll have plenty of time to kind of relax and hang out and, you know, maybe do some uh, video editing as well. And get some, some of the videos uploaded. Because uh, right now I, I am behind on uploading. I do I did have a lot of ed edited videos on my free time during uh, what was it Standing Bear. I did a lot of uh, editing, just chilling around on my Nero day. So I'll uh, I'll probably be uploading a lot as long as the Wi-Fi is good here. Um, so you can you can watch that. It'll be um, a collection of uh, the days. And the Smokies, pretty good. Uh, here's another view coming down into Irwin, right here. I think this might be uh, a lot better view up here. You can see uh, everything. Pretty cool. Hey, so I'm taking a zero. Yeah. To uh, let my uh, my shin splint heal. It's pretty much a shin splint, and I'm eating McDonald's for breakfast because uh, yeah, get those calories in, get really rested as much as I can. Probably buy a compression sleeve for my foot, maybe some icy hot, and uh, yeah, get back out there, do half the miles that like I've been doing. So. It looks like for the first two days, 12 and a half, 12 and a half, and then maybe a 17, or I might cut it short. So it's like trying to not push myself with too many miles to the point where uh, it can't recover. So just enough miles where I can still use it a little bit. Um, where it says like it's sore in the beginning, once it warms up, it feels good, but then after. A point it's gonna start getting too painful which was really around like 18 miles it started getting painful so uh, if I'm doing like 12s I should be okay I hope otherwise I'll be back in a hotel resting for longer so hopefully it uh it heals uh, with even some light hiking <laughs>